The U.S. government is shut down from debates over the Affordable Care Act, but Kroger stores around the Midwest found a way to appease all their employees to offer the biggest bang for their buck. Kroger is dropping employee spouses from their health care coverage, allowing employees to shop around for a better plan. Central Division spokesman John Elliott laid out Kroger's plan for ensuring their workforce. Get that health care plan to the point we could stabilize it financially and we could all afford it. The second piece was to stabilize the pension plan. And the third piece was, frankly, to protect benefits coverage for as many part-time employees as we could. Full-time employees with spouses will get a $1,000 lump sum in January to offset any immediate health care costs. But in a college town like Bloomington, not all of Kroger's employees are full-time, which is why the changes are affecting students as well. You know, there are some, like students who are like still covered by their um, parents, but then there are also like the older students who are like like kind of like doing this on their own. Jessalyn started working at the Kroger on College Mall Road as just a summer job, but now Kroger is offering benefits to staff working just 20 hours per week. Obamacare says employers must provide benefits to staff working 30 hours or more. I asked Jessalyn if that changed her outlook on her job at Kroger. I mean, actually, yeah, because I was like thinking about quitting, but I mean, that's kind of nice. Elliot says it's important to keep good employees in the Kroger community. But also, if we do things to discourage that pipeline of talent that often moves from part-time into full-time and a full career with us, then we're damaging the quality of our own workforce. Until next time, I'm Molly Jurasek, WSOJ News.